comes to practicing medicine, it's important that we also practice humility, understanding that there are things that we may not know, or crucially, things that may have changed to mean that our knowledge is out of date. Basically, we live the Dunning-Kruger curve. The more you know, the more you realize that there's a huge amount you don't know. Unfortunately, AI challenges that quite severely. So I was reviewing some documents on iron deficiency anemia, and I typed into Google a question to double check something. And it came up with the AI search at the top saying that tannins are a cause of iron deficiency anemia because they cause the iron to be poorly absorbed. And I thought, that's something I don't really remember from medical school. Maybe I'll double check it though. And I found two very recent papers, not just saying that there is a question about tannins, but in fact, flipping it all the way around, saying that tannins are good for your health and there's no good evidence to say that tannins have a measurable effect on iron deficiency anemia or iron absorption at all for that matter. So the point I'm making is that we really do need to be careful in a healthcare setting with regard to AI. I nearly took that information as read because it seemed to be quite reasonable and I got something in the back of my head, maybe. But if I hadn't have double checked that, I could have run into a real issue. And I really highlight that because Google is now putting AI responses at the top of the search before you go down and look at any more reputable resources. So when you're using Google and AI and things like that, just keep an open mind. If something is new or seems to be not something that you're aware of, do make sure you double check it because you don't want to start recommending the wrong things. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.